Yo, what up, YouTube? This man getting at y'all with another gameplay commentary and got a little Call of Duty and a little Domination on Dome. But before I get into the Domination on Dome and before I get into the purpose of this video, I want to give a, a shout out to RJ. RJ is an MLG pro. He plays third at COD XP. I can't think of who he all he was playing with. He was I know he's playing with Icons Ego. And I can't think of the other two people he was playing with, but they placed third at COD XP. They got third. He got a thirty thousand dollar check. I think he showed his check on his live stream. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, he's a cool ass dude. I watch his live stream almost every night. He hadn't been able to live stream the last couple of days because his internet has been down. And uh, but I told him I said I was gonna give him a shout out on my next uh, Call of Duty video. And I was gonna give y'all a Gears of War video next, but I wanted to go ahead and give him a shout out because like I, I try to be a man of my word and. I told him, I was, like I said, I was going to give a, a shout out on next call. Dude, look at this bullshit. Now, this is what pisses me off. I just kill five people at B, and they spawn them right at fucking B. How you going to cap flags when, when the spawn system fucking rewards people with shit like that, man? And that's going that's part of what I'm talking about during this series, but, you know, it's not really the whole thing I'm going to talk about. And uh, I just got lag compensated. I almost fucking died when I saw that dude 10 hours ahead of time. But anyway... What I want to say is, uh, go over there and give RJ a shout out. And this fucking scrub is laying down on the fucking ground like a little loser. It, this, this game, like, watch. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to commentate because the people that play this game are fucking scrub. And I'm not, you know, I'm not really mad at the game. I, I have fun playing the game, and uh, you know, I think the game is fun, super fun. But the community ruins the game for the most part. And people try to say you can't blame the community. Yeah, you can blame the community. I mean, the, the the guns are balanced. The perks are balanced in my eyes. It's the community that fucking lays down on the ground. That plays like bitches. Or, uh, you know, the lag compensation is something. But I think they did a hot patch to the lag comp. Because I haven't really been getting lag comp at all. But uh, getting back to what I want to say, man. Go check RJ out. He's an MLG pro. He's an, a legit MLG pro. Uh, I can't think of what's the name of his team. No, oh, he's a free agent right now. He, I remember he said that he was a free agent. But, uh. You know, you can't cap flags when people keep spawning the flag you want to cap it. But anyway, uh, <laughs> I keep going off on tangents because this shit keep pissing me off. But um, he's an MLG pro. He's a free agent right now. I don't know uh, what team is going to pick him up. And that was stupid. But as you can see, this is a shit storm on Dom. And I will leave a link to his uh, channel in the description. If you go sub him up, tell him man sent you. He'll know exactly who you're talking about. Uh, he's a cool dude. Good commentary. His last commentary was real good. He was talking about his career in baseball and whatnot. Um, but you know, go check him out, see if you like it, and if you like it, uh, sub him up because he's a cool dude, and he only has like 500, 600 subs, something like that. I think I got, I got almost like four times as many subs he's got, and uh, is uh, quite frankly, his gameplay, TP, all those dudes that can play the game, they don't cry about everything on the game. You know, they actually can play the game at a high level, and uh, the game, they they know what's going on with the game, but they still play at a high level, and they've helped me get better at the game, man. And uh, as I, as you can see on my last video, I posted up how I got that like nine nine man kill feed in about 45 seconds and uh stuff like that seeing them play watching them how they play and you know has helped me level up a little bit and <laughs> you can see this game is a clusterfuck man we are getting just stoned i mean i'm the only person that can kill somebody on my team i'm the only person that can kill somebody on my team and as you can see my deaths will come from explosions air support fucking scrubs with akimbo weapons like him uh you know just shit like that a lot of stuff that you can't control but i'm trying to play the objective which i always do man i always try to play the damn objective and uh look at that i i, I thought my teammate was saw him so i wasn't even worried about him i run in there and he turns around didn't even see that dude and gets us both killed but you know it's just shit like that man it was just a clusterfuck on dome and what i want to bring y'all this game i want to i'm gonna name this title the games that you don't see on youtube because these are the kind of games that you don't see on YouTube. You get into lobbies. You get into lobbies with bad players. You get into lobbies that people that want to, don't want to play the objective. You don't want one trying to objectify the fucking objective, and uh, you get punished for it. But you know me. I didn't want to back out. I could have easily backed out, but I didn't want to. I wanted to stick it out, try to fight it out. And another thing is, I had a bad class selection. And what I mean by that is, uh, I didn't switch to my support class fast enough. I was trying to be a little play the objective while uh, play the objective while being a kill whore and. You know, I should have switched to support a long time ago because this game I could have easily gotten two MP, two EMPs, and EMPs control the sky. Uh, do I think they should be in support? Now, nah, if they are in support, I think all skill streaks should be in support. I was talking about this on Twitter. Every kill streak should be a support kill streak, like uh, home front. Everybody talk about uh, no kill streak should be. It shouldn't be kill streak. It should be like home front. Home front had it right, and uh, support got it right. 
all kills should be, you know, all uh, streaks should be rewarded by, you know, objectifying the objective. Playing, that, not playing like a bitch. Because streaks only lead to bitch assism. You know, I'm making up words. I don't give a damn. But uh, streaks only lead to camp and they only lead to, uh, you know, crazy stuff. And, you know, nerds going to be nerds. People are still going to worry about their KD. But the less uh, emphasis that you put on staying alive, the more people are going to move. So I think that, you know, home front got it right. And a Pavlo should be, let's say a Pavlo should be a 35 point streak. Everybody can't get to 35 points, as you see. I can get to 35 points with no problem. But I'm the only person on my team that got to 35 points, so to say. So, um, you know, look how many people I just killed off in this area right here, too. I think I'm going to kill one more dude and I'm going to get spawned on. No, I got spawned on, I got a knife. But uh, anyway, you know, you can't cap B flag like that. When I kill three or four people off in B and they constantly spawning people at B. Why not spawn them at A? Why not spawn them at C? Why keep spawning them in the same spot that, you know, you're trying to cap? And we're getting triple capped and as support is reigning supreme. I don't know when I switched to my uh, support class. I think I, I switched to it like real, real, real soon. Uh, quick tip, if you're on the support, always use a sting on support because if you try to switch classes to be a team player with support, you lose your kill streak. You lose your point streak. So always, I knew this little loser was laying down in the fucking corner right there. Look at this bitch. He laying right there. And my, uh, I think he's going to throw a Simtex and kill me right here. My my uh, grenade landed, landed right on top of him. He didn't have blast shield. Landed right on top of him. And it didn't kill him. The fucking frags and Simtex suck in this game. Uh, but anyway, you know, um... When you run a support, always use a stinger because if you try to switch classes to, uh, you know, be a team player, you're going to lose your point streak. So, and that's what I do. I always, I, I run what you call on, uh, the idea yeah, that's right here. I just, uh, switched to my PTFO, play the fucking objective class. And I did it too late. I think I get to, no, I don't get to M EMP. I got to, uh, uh, advanced UAV with no problem. I would have got two M EMPs this game if I would have started out with support. And you know, EMPs they could control the sky. Uh, I think it should be a little higher than 18 points. 18 is too way too good for 18 point streak. Way too good. Now, right here, I think I'm my own B flag again. And my teammates, no, nah, I got killed on some bullshit. I was shooting at that dude, pre fired him, and still died. But like I said, uh, I got lag. I was host this game. I, I get hosts a lot. Like when host migrates, I usually get the host, and uh, I hate it. But it's it's gotten better. It's gotten way better the last three days. I was talking about that on Twitter. Uh, if you want to see what I'm what's going on with my in my gaming world, just my personal. I talk about everything on my Twitter account. You know, uh, follow me on Twitter. You know, um, uh, right there. I got killed by IMS. It's just I keep trying to go to B. Uh, like I'm putting pressure on these dudes at B. I don't understand why my teammates are not capping C. Um, you know, you just playing with just horrible fucking players. Nobody's trying to shoot down out sport but me. I got, a, I got a few games like this. I get games like this. I got good games, too, that I'm going to bring y'all that, uh, you know, you when you actually get people on your team that can actually kill shit, that can actually play the game, and then you, you're able to, you know, put up crazy games when, when people can actually, you know, help you out. Because if you got choppers and stealth bombers and shit all in the air, there's nothing you can do but get killed by that shit. You'll see a lot of my deaths are, are come from me trying to be a team player because that's just how I am. I, I play the objective. Uh, don't really worry about my KD. It's going up. I got almost a 1.6 now. Uh, it'll be a 2 before long. I, I got a 1.6 and I play like this. I play like a bat out of here. Always moving. Always on the constant move. Always playing objective. So, like I said, when people say KD is not important, it's not. But it, it, it's not meaningless either. Look at that, boy. I stopped shooting. A lot of my deaths come from me stopped shooting. I, start, I hit that dude with like 4 or 5 shots. And as you can see, everybody in the lobby is getting lag compensated because somebody has joined the lobby with fucking DSL and has ruined the connection for everybody. But uh, I switched to this class way too late, and I should have switched a long time ago. If I were using the uh, support class from Jump, I'm not going to say we would have won because we probably still wouldn't have won because, as you can see, at the end of this game, I think I went 38 and 26, and I had like 3,900 points. And my team, the dude under me, I think my second place went 17 and 34, some shit like that. And I don't even get in my third and fourth place because they did horrible. Right here, I killed like that's two, that's three people at B. I think I'm about to get killed right now. I just killed three people at B, and they spawned them all at B. Well, that is their only spot that they had, but you can't kill flags like that. That's why I think domination, all objective game types should have respawn delays. Um, they should have way better spawns than what they have. You know, you shouldn't be punished for playing the objective. You shouldn't kill three people and then, you know, get spawned on and get instantly killed or somebody throw a fucking Simtex or frag. I like spawn delays. I think it adds balance to the game. But um, anyway, be looking forward to more games like this. I'm going to name this series The Games You Don't See. 
Um, I hope y'all enjoyed it. I think it's fun. I like gameplays like this. But anyway, man, I'll get it to y'all on the next one. Be sure to go sub RJ up. Anyway.